thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is Weha Mag. We come to you on a monthly basis uh, talking about the business and neighborhood associations throughout all of uh, West Hartford. My name is Tom Hickey. I'm from West Hartford Magazine, Weha.com, and Weha Events. And every month I'm joined uh, by Barbara Lerner and Ronnie Newton, who are our co-hosts, and a wonderful uh, guest um, uh, ensemble from throughout all of West Hartford. So instead of me telling you who they are, let's go around uh, the circle here and, and introduce ourselves. Dave, we'll start with you. Hi, uh, Dave Shemaleski, uh, Direct Line Media here in West Hartford. And you're a member of Bishop's Corner? Uh, I'm a member of Bishop's Corner, yep. Absolutely. Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association. Yep. And hi, I'm Ronnie Newton. I'm the editor of Weha.com. I'm fresh off a bear chase today. That was my <laughs> excitement as a bear in my neighborhood, but I never found it, so <laughs> I'm going back out later. <laughs> and Tom again? <laughs> Um, I'm not off a bear chase. <laughs> uh, I'm Barbara Lerner. I'm the executive director of the West Hartford Chamber of Commerce. I'm John Pinderis, and I'm the co-president of the Park Road Association and owner of Effie's Place Restaurant on Park Road. Hi, everybody. My name is Karen Fillion, and I am the property manager uh, at Eden's, and I manage uh, Bishop's Corner uh, Shopping Center, uh, where Marshall's and Coma Steakhouse is, and also Crossroads Plaza. And I'm an executive member of the Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association. Great. Thanks for everyone taking time out of your uh, day uh, to be here and to chat about um, all the wonderful things going on in town. We're going to start with you, Dave. Sure. Um, because uh, we, we're trying to bring in special guests, as, as uh, any of our loyal viewers uh, you know, know uh, who, who are sort of working with us on different events and activities that we do throughout town. And one of the things that we do uh, quite well throughout um, all of West Hartford um, is, is eat um, you know, and, and drink. Uh, so these taste of events uh, that, have been, yeah, <laughs> that have been spreading uh, throughout town. Um, Dave uh, is the uh, videographer extraordinaire, as I refer to him uh, in, internally you. at our meetings for West Hartford Magazine and WeHad.com. Um, anything that you see um, you know, on our site or in, uh, uh, in print, uh, is about Dave and, and something that Dave has accomplished. Uh, if you haven't, uh, just search on, on weha.com, uh, Taste of Bishop's Corner or Taste of Elmwood or whatever it is, and what will come up uh, is a wonderful video that somehow Dave takes a two, <laughs> three hour event and consolidates it, <laughs> you know, uh, into what, you know, a minute? <laughs> usually, about, <laughs> yeah, usually about a minute, yeah. Right. I try to 45 to a minute and a half or something like that. In 15, so yeah. let's talk a little bit about how you do this and you're from town and right? So yeah, I'm from town. Uh, I don't know if you want the whole story. I was in broadcast for a period of time and uh, I started Direct Line Media about three and a half years ago or so. And, and I was talking to you and I, I met you through maybe the chamber or what have you and Ronnie and uh, we talked and I thought it'd be a great idea to get some of these events on video. So um, I'll go to the event and we'll just, I'll talk with uh, usually the, the person who's running the event, uh, that kind of thing, and then I'll talk with a lot of the participants and get obviously tons of food because there's always really good food there. And, and uh, I just sort of want to get the, it's not, it, I, I, it's a news piece, but it's not really, I let Ronnie take care of the news kind of part of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I just kind of want to make it fun and light and uh, kind of show people who couldn't make the event or did make the event and, and want to sort of recap it, um, kind of show how fun it was and what people had to say about it. Well, I think it really augments the story too, because you know I can tell I can tell the story in in print, and I can also share photographs. But for an event like that, it's so fluid, and I think taking video really makes yeah. it much more exciting. Yeah, and the, the the challenge is for me is always to not have the same video every time. Mm -hmm. So that's really where the challenge comes in. So okay, at this time I can do that, but let's kind of maybe t twist it a little bit and kind of change it up a little bit. So some videos have been just sort of video and music, which kind of works. Others have been more of a storyline where there's lots of interviews and lots of people. Um, and then some have been a really nice combination of both. So, yeah, Dave, yeah, so Dave nice. has done videos mm -hmm. for the Chamber for the last two years for our annual meeting. And um, the first year, I think he interviewed four people. And you, you really have to compress a story sure. that you really feel uh, um, and help tell the story because it's such a great story into four or five minutes. This year, Dave had to interview six people and a group, right. <laughs> which was hard. He interviewed wow. our future leaders of West Hartford yeah, yeah, group, yeah. and there were five of them, I think. Um, five or six, yes. Yeah, five, yeah that, was, that yeah. must have been quite an afternoon. Um, and, it was, and it was the, a full day. And, the, <laughs> and, and, and I actually, I'm lucky. I got to experience some of this with Dave because I go with him when he does these interviews, and I see the process. Mm. 
and how you really have to draw out of people what they need to say and people freeze in front of a camera mm. as we found out with mm. someone that we were vi videoing mm. for this one mm. who's normally very very outgoing and, and all of a sudden it was like she couldn't get the words out <laughs> yeah. but but he did and he and yeah. and he got her to say what she needed to say and at the end of and it was a 6 minute video this time because there was so much in it and it's always the highlight of our meeting at the end of the meeting as people are leaving they're saying that was the best video, that was the best mm -hmm. video. You know, how did you do that? That was the best mm -hmm. video. So we're hoping people become more aware of what, what you can say in a short period of time and get your message out, and Dave does such a great job yeah, at that. Absolutely. Yeah, so I always try to tell people, you know, before we start the interview, this isn't live, this is all gonna be edited, so I can take, somebody, you know, takes two minutes, three minutes to say something, I really try to, I can cut that down to, you know, seconds, almost. Condensed, you know, they cut out a lot of stuff, and it just—it's just shooting enough kind of stuff. We call B—I don't know if people are familiar B-roll video or supporting video. It's sort of the video you see while somebody's talking. Um, so, you, and it's just you know, it's just uh, the time I've been doing it. Is you just learn as you go, and it's been—it's been great. It's been a great and opportunity. I might add and, and certainly bring it up that on the marketing side of our business, we have used you to produce commercials, sure. you know, television yeah. commercials. Um, uh, you know, yeah. YouTube, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, info commercial, info yeah. commercials, yeah. you know, whatever it might be. So that's something that anyone could use your services for. No, absolutely. I mean, the best part is really just meeting all the different people, sort of learning their story, um, talking to them a little bit, because I do talk to them before the interview usually and get an idea of who they are, the type of person they are, and that can help sort of guide the interview a little bit. Um, and then when I have somebody like Barbara help me out with the interview, it's terrific because she's really absolutely. great. Uh, help me out with that. So that's really yeah. good. Well, and then, the videos have another story. dimension. I mean, it really changes things up at an event. Mm. It's not a bunch of people standing at a podium talking right. out to uh, you. Right, yeah, yeah. It's almost interactive, so. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Right, and it's totally a different way to, to share the news, and it, it's visual as photographs are, but visual in a, in a completely different way. Well, keep coming to all of our events. Uh, <laughs> Dave will see there. Uh, if, if you want to get on camera, you know, uh, now you know what he looks like. <laughs> so, uh, Find me. You know, seek him out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, he'll, and he'll take care of you that way. Yeah. If, they, uh, if they don't search on wehat.com or they don't see um, uh, anything on the chamber, can they go to your website to see Yeah, so if you go to directlinemediaproductions.com, uh, if you go to the bottom of the page, there's all information about the company, kind of what we do and what I do. And okay, one more time, slow directlinemediaproductions.com. Oh, cool. oh, There's no the editing. Or you can search Dave Chemileski, David Chemileski, I'm out there too, and uh, I pop up pretty quickly. And then if you go to the bottom of my page, there's uh, YouTube links and uh, Facebook, uh, if you can find me on Facebook. So I try to post all the videos there and you can kind of find what I've done recently and in the past. And, and there's a whole variety of, whether it be events like that, uh, marketing videos for companies around town, which I love to do. And then uh, I work with the musicians putting together stuff for them, marketing marketing yeah. stuff for them. Uh, so it's a whole different range of, of what I do out there. So. Our, well, our viewers can't see, but we have four summer interns who are uh, recording us now, uh, you know, for this program. So maybe some of them can hook up with you. Yeah, no, that'd be great. I'm always, I'm always well open for some help. a lot of events happening yeah. uh, over the course of the summer. Absolutely, yeah. No, the doesn't mind sharing. sharing. That's it. That's <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I'm saying. So yeah. it's great. Very Thanks, good. Dave. Thank you very Wonderful. much. Wonderful. Let's move right over to Bishop's Corner, Karen, uh, and start with, um, with you just sort of talking about what's going on in the Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association. Uh, well, we uh, have had our Knox planters delivered, uh -huh. and there's 12 beautiful planters along North Main Street um, at the um, Whole Foods side okay. and um, along the Marshall side, and they're just beautiful. And the dedication was uh, Wednesday the 28th, I believe, and um, it went very well. So we're very excited about that, and we thank all of the uh, donators that sponsored uh, the planters. So, and Barbara, um, do you want to just jump on that for a second, then we'll come back to Bishop's Corner, because well, you, didn't you just nominate we, we Charlie? Did, yeah. we, we just honored, Char honored Charlie, yeah. Charlie, yeah. Charlie yeah. Hilborn. He was the Noah Webster Award winner this year from the Chamber of Commerce. It's, and that award is given to somebody who's done something extraordinary in the community. So Charlie Hilborn, who is one of the owners of Sheehan Hilborn Breen Funeral Home on New Britain Avenue, last year went door to door thinking that he had to do something on New Britain Avenue. He had to spruce up New Britain Avenue, brighten it up, and he partnered with the Knox Foundation. And they, he sold door to door last year 50 planters. And that's it's quite amazing. an accomplishment. It's mm -hmm. amazing. So he had a goal this year to sell at least 50 planters, and he did it again mm -hmm. all by himself, and he sold 61 planters this mm -hmm. year. 
So when you're driving down New Britain Avenue and you see those planters, realize that was all done by Charlie Hilborn. It's amazing. It really looks yeah. beautiful. Um, the, in Elmwood, because there's so many of them, they're so visible. I, I went the day that the Knox Foundation was delivering them and, and took photos of you know Charlie by them. It was like his he was having a bunch of babies. He yeah. just was so <laughs> excited about each one. And, and it grew from there. Yeah. Oh, Charlie absolutely. even came yeah. to, to Park Road and, and he came to me and said, hey, I'm doing this. and you know, would, would you folks like some? So I, I kind of picked up uh, on Park Road, and we only we only got a few out, but um, they're, they're out there now, and we're hoping to get a couple more. Uh, only couple a few more this year. Only a few this yeah, year. Gonna, and and so yeah, and I've been trying to get Charlie them. to come over mm -hmm. and, and sell them to all of Park Road, too. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were and amazed at how you, right? generous everyone yeah. um, in Bishop's Corner was. Mm. And uh, so we have 12, and they're just beautiful. Mm. And it really is a nominal fee. It's about $300, I believe. And um, they uh, change out the plants, you know, so it's their three season. Yeah. And they, uh, they, water they, they water them and they, and they yeah. just right. the whole bit. So they're just beautiful. Mm. They're huge planters. They're, they're absolutely yeah. beautiful. And, and they're, they're all over town now. So yeah, they're so in not, Bishop's yeah. Corner. They're on Park Road. They're in Elmwood. And, and there design. are a couple on the Home, home Design, design yeah. District. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. And yeah. West Hartford Center has always had yeah. Yeah. planters. Maybe, so. maybe we should say that if anyone's interested in sponsoring any um, to, yeah. to contact us and mm -hmm. we can we can uh, see if we can get a For few sure. more out there absolutely you but it's amazing how something like that just snowballs and mm. you, you know it's one idea from one person mm, and exactly. and what can happen yeah. you know so and then I uh, excuse me for having my phone here but uh, so at Bishop's Corner Edens mm -hmm. uh, we are filling up our um, office space and I'm pleased to announce that um, we have um, an ear nose and throat um, practice that is going to be taking 5,171 wow. square feet wow. on the second floor. I need that for business bus. And, <laughs> That's right. um, exactly. and then the regional cancer care associates are going to have 8,518 square feet on the third floor. Wow. wow. So we are almost And which full. building is that, Karen? And that's, that's at 345 North Main Street. Okay. The coma, so that's the coma building. Correct. So uh, the office entrance is by GNC. Yep. So you can enter that way, or you can also enter down below by uh, Abby Dabby. And um, so we're, um, we're very pleased. And so is that at capacity now? That whole uh, well, we, have a, we have just a little bit okay. of yeah. square footage left on the third floor. Mm. So it's very exciting. We also uh, just brought in a psychiatry group. And, um, That's because and, you're there now. Right, right. <laughs> <That's what laughs> and we were fortunate <laughs> enough that Edens <laughs> also has uh, a community room. And um, it's, a, it's a small room. You know, it's, uh, the space is less than 1,000 square feet. But we offer that to our tenants and anyone else that may need some um, some space to hold a meeting or um, something like that. So. And is there a fee for that? No, or? no, no fee for you that. just have to no. call my office and mm. we'll put you on the calendar. Wow. Okay. So Excellent. that's really nice. And of course, um, across the street, Ocho is. Yeah. I guess doing a bang up job. I'm Ronnie. Can you yeah, add to that? I, well, I was very excited to to write about the opening of that, and I was actually really, really excited to see the inside because it is just beautiful in there. It was, you know, formerly um, Fortucci's, and mm -hmm. it was, you know, your your pretty much standard looking restaurant. Doesn't now, look that way anymore. No, <laughs> no, not at all. It's all decorated with a lot of um, handcrafted, you know. Um, pottery and there there's paintings he brought most of them from Mexico there's different uh, Mexican tiles and he also I'm not going to think of the name of it it's this kind of special rock that's used in cathedrals he's got um, like a, a pendant I guess might be the right word hanging on the wall and it's just it's it's really cool wow. and um, great margaritas you know, chips and salsa with every meal, but never it's not. ending chips and salsa. They, mm. they, they, they keep coming. Yeah. And fantastic. they have table side guacamole, um, which is also, you know, a, a, something that people really enjoy. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great place. And it's, it's family friendly too, as well as um, being, you know, tacos and tequila is their tagline, but mm -hmm. um, it's definitely some place you could go on a date or, or with the family. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the night we were way. there, it was filled with families, mm -hmm. which is really nice because mm -hmm. the noise level is high. Mm -hmm. So you have to worry about your kids right. making too much noise <laughs> or running around the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. What I loved is um, the managers are from Mexico. Oh, I mean, wow. it really is all, almost all of the mm -hmm. staff is from Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, and, they, and we were speaking to our waitress, who was really lovely, and she was telling us that, yes, her whole family works in the restaurant. It's her, her mother, and her father. Wow. Wow, that's oh, awesome. That's so, um, and then um, 
Let's see, the farmer's market is in full swing, yeah, the Bishop's absolutely. Corner neighborhood uh, farmer's market. That and is, is that held, every Saturday? It's every Saturday, and it's held uh, in the parking lot in front of uh, Starbucks. And it's 10 to 1 this year. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. The hours are a little reduced. Um, and um, I don't know. It's just busy. It's alive. I mean, Bishop's Corner really is alive. And the okay. on the uh, the main four corners there, that gas the the gas, the gas station, station that was, is all done. It's right? open, and uh, the town is finished. Uh, they're I think they're just about finished uh, putting in the new sidewalks, Excellent. and uh, the gas station is um, you know finishing up all the landscaping. Excellent. Great. So um, it's really it's can really we can we mention or talk about the idea that the board's working on for the fall, or can we not share that yet? with the park down the street? Oh, that, sure. We can go talk ahead. about that? We can okay. talk about that. <laughs> you go ahead thinking, and talk about that. I was <laughs> thinking about that. So uh, we're going to partner with Westmore Park and have a 5K uh, race, fun, walk, run. Yeah. Uh, we really haven't ironed out all the details, uh, whether or not it will be um, an authentic 5K. You know, it's registered with the state or whatever. <laughs> but um, it's... Uh, going to start and end at um, Bishop's Corner mm -hmm. and go up um, um, uh, Flag Road, Flag Road yeah. and yeah. up and around Westmore Park. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's, we really want to gear it more to a family fun day, mm -hmm. you know, Excellent. so yeah. So great. that's about it for me. Excellent. There, wow. there are also great things happening on Park Road. There yes. certainly are. <laughs> <laughs> Park, Park Road's been busy. I'm going to get my notes out. I don't have my, <laughs> I, I went with handwritten instead of my phone. But uh, <laughs> we're, we're just coming off of our, our annual celebrity breakfast that we, we had in June. And it was one of our most su successful ones yet. Uh, we had a great turnout. Um, and, I, and, and I think part of it is, is due towards the the new group at the chamber, the the, the um, future business leaders and, and future the, leaders, leaders of West le Hartford. Excuse me, leaders of West Hartford. Flow and flow, <laughs> and uh, they they did a great job. They came. They they you know many of the folks came and they worked and they brought in their friends to come eat and that and that helped and it was great. We raised well over two thousand dollars for the parade, um, wow, that's which awesome. is which is coming October seventh this year. Uh, you know, it, again, it was our best. It was our best year yet. Park Road is busy. Um, all the restaurants and the salons are, are, are always full. You drive up and down uh, Park Road at certain times and, and there's cars everywhere. And you're like, mm -hmm. where, you know, where are all these people coming from? It's great. Patios are full. Um, there's just a good vibe and it's getting even better. We have um, a, a building that's been sitting empty for uh, quite some time being transformed and it's, it's uh, going to be opening soon as zero degree ice cream. Uh, right. And we're looking forward to having, having them in the neighborhood. We have um, very little vacancy. There's only a few small spots um, that that are around, and you know, I think there's one or two businesses that might be going, but uh, I think there's already people lined up. So it's it, things are looking good on Park Road. Mm. Uh, we also um, had a, a new committee for our association, and we're calling it the Beautification Club. And uh, some business owners and some um, residents from the neighborhood have started this in order to keep things looking good on Park Road. Mm. Um, so they've met once or twice, and uh, they're working on maybe getting some more planters in and cleaning up some of the some of the spots that can use a little um, landscape work and, and so forth. And, and they're really excited about getting things going and maybe getting some new um, flags put up on, on the uh, on the poles and, and and such. So they're they're doing great there. And if anyone's interested in helping out or joining, please contact me or or Tracy at the Playhouse, and we'll get you connected. Um, and then. Off to the Playhouse, they're doing Shakespeare uh, through, the, through the month of July, mm -hmm. and it's kind of abbreviated, funny version of, of Shakespeare. Um, I, I think they say whether you love Shakespeare or hate Shakespeare, you will love this show. Right, yeah, it, it is very funny, and Sean Harris uh, is, is in the show, who's um, the creative director for the Playhouse, and he's, he's, he's coming back and, uh, and acting, <laughs> getting back into his acting, and he's very funny. Uh, they're also offering several educational programs through the summer. They have some kids and adult programs that are available um, and uh, in master classes, this is what they're called. So they can, anyone interested can contact the Playhouse there. Um, and other than that, we're, you know, things, things are good. <laughs> things are good. Well, we're looking forward to the parade. Absolutely. Parade. We, we missed jump, it last that's, year that's because of the weather. Fun, yeah. so. Can we jump back to that, and not to put you on the spot or, or embarrass you, but that, the breakfast really, is so successful as well because you're donating 
Right, we, we donate, FE's uh, donates 100% yeah. uh, of the proceeds. Yeah. I mean, that's a huge um, deal. My, yeah. my servers come in and, and help out and make sure everything goes smoothly. Mm. Um, we have, and, and it's just turned into such a fun event. Uh, so many people are nervous about working, working when they come in the first time. And, <laughs> and usually by the end, you know, after 10 minutes or so of doing it, they, they have this weird look on their face that they're having so much fun, but yet still scared. <laughs> and, and, and by the end, they like, can't wait to come back next year. So <laughs> it's, it's I, I think I've done it probably at least four or five times. And the first year I was so afraid that I was going to spill coffee on someone, especially, <laughs> you know, somebody mm. kind of high profile who had maybe done their shift and then was eating, like, you know, the mayor, or <laughs> Wait, the police yeah. chief. Now yeah. you have to see Ronnie with her camera and the coffee <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 running yeah. around. Yeah. Oh, I actually had regular and decaf you did. and my camera you on did. my head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ronnie, you might be one of the one of the few actually offered a job to by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually failed as a waitress. I don't want to share that story, but I just spilled coffee on this, like, kind of wealthy elderly lady at a yacht club and my job didn't last much that longer. No. No. I'll but give you a job any time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it is t tough to get people out of there. I know people sit for a couple of hours because they're having such a good time and there are so many people there. And you have Brad Davis and and I can't think of his co- uh, Dan Lavallo. And Dan yeah. Lavallo there who are, who were really wonderful and doing their show from the- And, uh, and a lot of people like to go and, and get on air and, and talk to them about what's, what's going on. and. In their specific, uh, you know, business or neighborhood, and they've been really good about getting uh, getting people on. In fact, I have to show up about four o'clock in the morning. I get there, and wow. and oh. Brad and I will have a conversation about who's coming and and you know who he'll want to talk to and so forth. So it's a really a long day for me by <laughs> yeah, by ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You know, it feels like five o'clock. Yeah. So. Um, I'm usually pretty tired by the end of that day, uh, but we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep doing it, and uh, we're looking forward to doing it again. Great. Excellent. We, the chamber has an event I would love to talk oh, sure, about. Sure, go ahead. Too. Oh. So, so the chamber um, has this new young professionals group called Flow Future Leaders of West Hartford, and they have an event on July 27th um, on the roof of the Elbow Room. So it is um, 5:30 to 8, and um, you know, age range up to 40, but nobody's carding anybody. So <laughs> if you want to come, you can all come. But it should be a lot of fun. Right. So and that's a Thursday night? Thursday night up right. on the roof. So I will, uh, Elizabeth uh, from Blueback, who uh, got called to a meeting unexpectedly, uh, couldn't join us today the night before. So Wednesday uh, evening will be the uh, Taste of uh, Blueback. Oh. Uh, so Taste of Blueback will be on uh, the last Wednesday of July. So the night before, uh, Flo's uh, rooftop party, uh, you know, in, uh, in the center. Uh, so if you remember from last year, we turned away <laughs> 150 people. Um, it was one of those things that just sort of went crazy, uh, you know, through social media last minute. And we didn't want to ruin the experience, you know, for the people who had purchased their tickets. So we didn't want to run out of food or, you know, have anything like that, um, uh, you know, go bad or, or, ha or happen. So uh, please buy your tickets um, early. Um, it will be sometime, um, you know, after Fourth of July. You know, when we start that, activate that uh, mm -hmm. that ticket, um, uh, you know, uh, code on on WeHa. Um, but try to do a little bit of pre-planning. You know, prior to that, uh, it's rain or shine. Um, uh, this year it will be a little bit different. Same location, which is the. Um, REI parking lot, mm -hmm. um, but if, uh, because it was moved outdoors last minute last year, uh, there were a bunch of smaller tents that were set up. This year, it's going to be one larger oh, uh, tent with everybody underneath it. That was such um, an, such a fun event last yeah. year. Uh, the only downside was it was about 110 <laughs> well, degrees, <laughs> and, we, and it was sunny, yeah. which is really not a downside. Yeah. But um, the food was fabulous, the drink was. You, there was so many vendors; everybody was having a great time. Yeah. Um, Jade Marketing had their oh, jean the truck and there. The I bought the Ronnie jean, a pair of the jeans. Jean, the jean yeah. truck is coming back. So, oh, for, oh, those of, for those of you who don't know what the jean truck is, you um, you buy um, it's five but, pairs for fifty dollars, or, or one, or one for twenty. Ten. For ten, no. um, oh, only 10. I think it's, it's, it's one for ten and five for thirty, yeah. or something like that. It's definitely very discounted well, by then when you we'll buy know, five. But, yeah, but, it's it's all, but all the money yeah. goes to and this year it's going to go back to, to Noah, Noah Webster. Oh, it's going to Noah Webster, no Webster House again, West Hartford 
It's, it's just so much society. fun. And yeah. Can we buy the tickets anywhere else besides online? Or? No, just no, online. Just yeah, online. Yeah, through uh, through weadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadweadwead